some Jerry Rocket shit. Goodbye. Good morning, little monkeys. How are you? Manga and I have been uh, chilling most of the day today. Um, Allie's not here today, and Manga and I have just been. Um, cuddling, and eating snacks, and pooping on things we shouldn't be. Do you want to give daddy the clip? You want to give daddy the clip? No, you don't want to give daddy the clip. You guys aren't going to be able to see as well because the lighting's low, but, um, I don't know if you can see them all. There's, uh, there's four little fur babies in here that we found in the well, so, um, they keep coming. They're a little bit angry about being woken up, but uh, they're alive and they're going to the sanctuary tomorrow. Those of you that have been uh, for me through this, um, it's been a really hard experience in my life. Between everything that's gone down personally and a lot of the things that have been going on in social media, a lot of the hate that um, fortunately turned around into a lot of love. So those of you that started that and sparked that, I appreciate you. Um, you guys have helped made it a little bit easier for me. Really stressful. Um, even people within my own business have made my life much more stressful. We have some good news. The pool is open. And do we remember who loves the pool? It's my boy, Jerry. Oh boy, look, Jerry. Look, look whose pool is open. It's super cloudy and gross, but it's open and ducks can go swimming and play. Go, Jerry, go. Good boy, look at it. Are you gonna have fun? Look how happy he is. Oh, he's excited. I kinda wanna see, like, what he ends up doing. Probably, honestly, gonna freak out. Look at you, Jerry. You're doing duck stuff again. All, like, the little possums have been going down here. This is, like, I think one ended up down here by accident, I think. What do you call it? I think the rest of them picked up on the scent. And I think they're all running from the raccoons because there's still a lot of them that are coming by every day. So we've just been bringing them in so we can take them to the sanctuary. I was, I was really zoomed in there. I don't like this camera. Auto focus, auto focus, okay. You having fun, Jerry? Uh, we broke the rules of quarantine and we had a giant poker night last night. That was cool. Something that I really do love to do is play poker. This is probably really not zoomed right now. Jerry, how are you doing, Bo? Jerry. It's manga snap time. He's really tired. Really, really tired. Don't eat my toes, Manga. Manga, Manga, you cannot go on those chairs just to take a dump. I swear, Manga, are you gonna take a dump? Are you, no, we're not playing musical chairs, Manga. Are you gonna take a dump? I just had an idea, Allie. Rocket ship, Jerry, rocket ship. Good boy. Okay, and welcome to another uh, segment called Making Food for Your Parents. Your parents work very hard, and um, they like to eat food just like you. So today, you're going to learn how to make something really delicious and really cheap for your parents and yourself. The packaging is just stupid. So we have, uh, this is one pound of burger meat right there, and you can make one entire burger patty out of it if you're like a champion. I am not, so we're gonna make little ones. So all you really need to do, and this is a very simple thing to do, grab a little ball like so. This is a little bit big, but that's okay, and you're gonna make it into a ball, like a meatball almost, okay? Make sure you wash your hands before, and after you do this. We're gonna leave the rest of this right here because I'm actually making patties out of all this, but we're only gonna make one to show you guys what to do. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, okay? Flip it around. You have all this on the paper still and just tap the bottom with it. Just tap the bottom with it and then you're good. Leave it right there um, and then we're ready to move to the next step, which is really easy. Then what you want to do is you're going to take a little plate, spray some cooking oil on it just like that. You'll know why here in a minute. Some people prefer like a fluffy bun. I don't. Just take your bun, smash it down like so, take them back apart, and then you can either use like uh, cooking spray or butter because you want these nice and toasted for your burger. Okay, then you want to take your ball out. You'll have multiple. Maybe you're feeding your family and come outside. What you want to do is take the top off. As you can see, it's very hot. We can turn it down now. And you're just gonna, just like making a grilled cheese sandwich, 
You're gonna want those nice and toasted, okay? Once you think they're toasted enough, that's more than good enough, just like McDonald's does it, and just set them to the side. Be careful, use tongs for this, don't be a Brendan. Now you can do this on a pan on the inside of your house. I just really don't like how it um smells up the house. You're just gonna take your patty like that, Allie, where's that plate? And you're gonna take your plate, which you put that oil on so the burger doesn't stick, and you're just gonna press it down as hard as you can to flatten out that burger patty and lift that up. Take it and just flip it over. You're gonna wanna cook each side for about a minute and a half. You want some caramelization on this burger. As you can see, it's gonna be really, really, really juicy. This is very quick. This is very cheap to make and your family's gonna love it. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, cause we're gonna have to flip it over again, is you're gonna sprinkle in some garlic salt. Garlic powder works okay, but don't do too much or you'll make it gross. Cover it, you'll cook it a lot quicker. And then you, you, know, you can set your, uh, your buns on there just to make sure they stay nice and warm. Again, like be really careful, do not burn yourself. If you burn yourself, it's not my fault. It starts to look like this on one side, it'll start to shrink up. That's okay. That's okay, if this breaks out in your house, all you have to do is cover it up and it will, the flame will stop. Next thing you wanna do, once you're about this cooked on one side, take one or two pieces of cheese if you're feeling frosty, set it on your burger and make sure you cover it so it melts properly. You're gonna put your bun down. Allie, watch out, back up. You're gonna get a little bit of a flame, but look how good that looks and you're just gonna set it right on there. It's all juicy and gross, and that's just how we like it as Americans, okay? If you're a Brit, get used to it, it's how we do it. Then a little bit of mustard, like so. A little bit more ketchup, that's what I prefer. Some people prefer more mustard. Just like that, and I only like one strip of mayonnaise. Trust me, it makes it 10 times better. Cover her right up. You can add whatever else you want, but that's a quick, easy, cheap burger. Split her apart, and that's really what you want to see with your burger. I fucking mimp. <clears throat> now you guys know how to do it. It was actually really delicious. Good little lunch. Um, make this for your parents. They will appreciate you, and they'll go, whoa, whoa. You can add anything you want to it. If you want to make it really good, Take some onions, chop them up, okay, and throw them in there with the burger patty, let them caramelize and put that on there with them. Mint, but this is the quick way to do it. I made a burger for my brother, what do you think? <sighs> yeah, it was probably like a two out of two. It was pretty good, it was really good. Yeah, I eat. Betty, you're a bitch! Jerry, hey, are you enjoying the pool? I hope so, because I love you, Jerry! Okay, Bows. Hey. Hey. It's time for lunch. Oh, don't even start with me. I'm feeding you, you little bugger. I bet you're starving. One of them didn't want to eat this morning, so I'm gonna be really hungry now. Come here. Mmm. There you go. Now it's your turn. This one's the good one. This is Pickles. Hi, Pickles. So the vlog today is really short, obviously. Um, I'm just trying to get back into it. It's been really tough. Um, make that burger for your family, though. They'll love you. Um, I'm going to start doing something once a week that you guys can learn and make for your family. And I'll make sure it's cheap, it's affordable, and it's delicious. So, uh, yeah, I'll do the freaking deal. Yeah.